To build your app for a VR platform, go to the Apps page and click on the app you just created. You will see all the info you filled in, the title, the project you added, the icon, and you see that the default headjack interface has been selected. You also see a bundle ID has been created, which you can change by clicking on it. But the most exciting thing is over here. Here you can select the platform you want to build for. For example, if we want to create an Android app for Cardboard, we click the Cardboard Android. We say if it's for local use on our own device, or if you want to build it for the App Store, in which case you have to add some extra credentials. But let's build one for local use now. So we select local and we can click build application. Do notice the warning down here, because I'm on a free account all my videos will be watermarked. But that's fine for now. So let's click build application and see what happens. You see the build button becomes inactive, the page is reloaded. And it says down here that your app has been successfully saved. Then after a couple seconds it will tell you that your build has been successfully started. It tells you that you will receive an email when your build has been completed and that it can take up to 45 minutes, but it's usually a lot faster than that. To view the status of your build, you can click the View Builds button. Or you can just navigate to the Builds page in the left hand side. You see that the status of your app is now queued. It has been sent to the Unity Cloud Build service and it has been added to the queue there. So we'll have to wait a couple minutes for it to start building. And then once your app has finished building, your download link will show up in your inbox as well as on this page. Here you can also view a log of this build. Currently it says there's no log available because the app hasn't started building yet. So that's it, now you can just sit back and wait for your app to finish building.